Hello everybody and welcome to The Terrible Old Man, another point and click adventure from Cloak and Dagger Games. <laughs> We're starting with a bad, bad situation, okay. Let's see, this one's a little bit more uh, stylized. So Anglo, when are you going to blow this joint? I say we head up tomorrow, it's a few hours drive to Boston. How long we stay in there for? Oh, I'd say a night or two. We gotta keep moving. And then we head back to Arkham. That's right. I've been talking to a guy up there for, who might be able to get us some action, you know. Say, speaking of action, look at that dame over there. She's got something going on, doesn't she? <laughs> Gretel. Says Nick, why don't you get your pasty ass over there and give her your best line? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. And I got us some beers while you're at it. You've still got some cash on cash from the old broad the other night. Yeah, I got a few bucks left. I don't have a dime. I don't know why they're all Irish. They just are today. And that woman was so old she couldn't even get out of out of the house to spend her godforsaken dollars. Better old manual here spends it on hooch and let it sit there gathering dust for another two years before she bites it. Damn right. Well then, let us get let us some beers, boy. Get us some beers, boy. Left click your rank, right click observe for inventory screen from yourself. I am ready. I've got a key, some cash. Well, let's start with a woman. Say the miss, can I have a word with you? Leave me alone, grease ball. Hey, 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 no need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to conversate. Go conversate elsewhere, baby, to your mother. <laughs> Struck out again, Chisnack. Suit yourself. Do your small talk with local support. Three beers over here. Where are you guys from? Boston? Innsmouth? None of your goddamn business. Just give me some beer. Hey, this is my bar. You watch your manners, stranger. Folk are nice here in Kingsport. We look after each other. Three beers. Um, please? <laughs> That'll be two dollars, my foreign friend. Three beers coming up. Three beers for two dollars. That's not a, not a bad. Gosh darn it, the barrel is dry. I'm going to have to roll up a new one. Sit tight. Dinner yet. I swear we sat the whole chocolate cake in front of his face and he didn't so much blink. The boy's been affected. Jacob Jock Reeves, we'll get to the bottom of it. He's only been acting strange since his run in with that old fella the other night. I shouldn't let the boy out so late. What happened? You know, the very old man, a former sea captain of some sort. You see him around town, pays for his groceries and golden doubloons. I've heard about him, yeah. Feeble and ancient. I heard he talks to bottles he has lined up on a table inside his house. Calls them names like Gen Spanish Joe and Mate Ellis. It's as if he is speaking to his old crew. Yeah, and a most particular chap. Best avoided, I think. No need to upset such folk. Something you need to teach Dickie. A bit of respect. So what happened with, was Dickie threw a stone at the, his window, you see. And the old man caught him in the act. Gave him a good talking, I bet. Dickie won't talk about what exactly happened. Oh dear. Man, these faces on these portraits are creepy. Man, there's something wrong with these people. He's a stupid boy. You go around throwing stones through old folks' windows and, well, they aren't going to be happy, no matter how feeble they are. I told him he's not leaving the house for a month, apart from going to his lessons. It must be quite a scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that, using old coin, gold coins for currency. The man must be sitting on a fortune. Tell me about it. I heard he captained clipper ships in the east. Uncountable years back and bought back, brought back untold treasures. Sorry about the wait. Here's your beers. Three for two. Thanks. Boy, you're not gonna believe it. You had a date with the broad. He wishes. I think we got ourselves a job tonight. Let's spit it out. I heard those two chaps speaking about a crazy old man who lives in town. So Richie pays for things with gold doubloons. Heck. 
gold doubloons? Yeah, he's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. A rich and senile fart. Haha, <laughs> that sounds like a cinch. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got on offer. Oh boy, this should be fun. Where is the old man's house then? I don't know, they didn't say. Find out, Chesnick. Find out and we may find riches tonight. Say, fellas, what was that you guys were t saying about an old man around these parts? What's it to you, stranger? Oh, I just overheard your story. He sounds like a character. Indeed he is. He shuffles about with his cane dropping gold all over the show. Kingsport, born and bred. Me too. Where are you from? Oh, a suburb of Boston. City boy, eh? Cosmopolitan type. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. What else do you know about him? There's a lot of questions, stranger. Yes, leave us be. Something about bottles. Sometimes he's... People see him through his window with a lineup of curious bottles sitting on a table. Each bottle has some sort of object inside. Pendulums, some say, and he's been a, seen to chat to them, waving his arms about. I'm afraid the old chap has lost his mind too, too much at sea. A sea captain, yes. Though back in the time, back in the time, nobody remembers. Rumor has it he spent decades in the Far East. Some say he talks to the bottles as if they were his crew members. His house is along the coast, of the ancient pile it is, too. One of the oldest houses in Kingport, I'd venture. What's the address? Oh, you're thinking of visiting him, are you? Why on earth would you, you want to see him for? Treasure hunter, are you? Good, the last thing we need in this town is outside to bring a wave of criminal ways with them. So why do you want to know his address? Why should we trust you? Reviewing him for local paper. Well, local paper. Yeah, found something that belongs to him, we should return it. <laughs> We're from the tax department. He owes us money. <laughs> then surely you would have his dress on file. Get lost. Um. Uh. Is he, oh yes. What's the name of the local paper then? The Times. Wrong. <laughs> Traveling salesman. What are you selling? Shoes. Okay. Sure thing. I'm wearing them right now. You're wearing your stock. What better way to have it? Go box them out in the car. Very worn, you're full of it, stranger. Is there anything I can tell him? What's the item? An old ornament. Let's have a look at it. Or is that the fun? Bollocks. Uh, uh, no, no. He's long lost. You believe that you're clearly not. Okay, the only one like. The king's. Wrong. Pathological liar. Well. Telegraph. There's no right answer. <laughs> okay. Um. Dreaming is spending gold doubloons to think. What are you going to buy, Manuel? Dog. One of them real fancy ones. Going to name him Jackson. Okay. What about you, lady? Do you know anything about rich old man lives in town? You're back again. Don Juan doesn't stop trying tonight, does he? Very persistent man. I don't know the old man. You're lying. Everybody must know him. Leave me alone. Okay, what about... You got the address? I'm working on it. Uh, uh, uh... I don't gossip about local sir, this is a respectable pub. Uh, you know, business stranger. <laughs> what he said. Tell me what the brought over there. She's in here working all the time. Doesn't look like she's up to much, but it's her line of work. Why don't we ask her yourself later? Let me get those drinks need a refill. Y'all are not helping. Um I might, I'm not looking for work, but my job requires a lot of thinking. Yeah, what's your... I'm a journalist. Oh, big shot. I need to talk to you. You are Kingsport Daily Star. Okay. Now I can say what I do. Interviewing for the local paper. Wasn't even an option. 
It's the truth. We're journalists from Boston. We do freelance work. It sounds like the old man could give us a great story. Imagine the tales he must have. Tales of exploration, treasure, and chivalry. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but this is getting annoying anyway. The old man lives up on Water Street. His property backs onto the ship's street near the shore. Outside his home are curious foreign standing stones, an unmistakable sight. Thanks, I appreciate it. Alright, now we know who he is. Where is it? Back entrance on Ship Street by the harbor. Hey, we passed the, that street on the way here. It's just a few blocks away. Let's go, boys. There's treasure to be had. Can I finish my beer? You didn't even let me have any beer. God, y'all are ugly folk. Alright, we're here. What's the plan, Miles? Silva, you and I will go through going through the secret gate. So I think you stay wise. Okay. Before we do anything, though, looks like there's a light on up there. Shazik, can you have a better look? We gotta make sure he ain't watching us. Too far away. I ain't climbing up there. Go ahead. How am I supposed to have a better look? I can try climbing over using that street pole, but the gate seems a more convenient choice. That's where the gate tip is set to go. in there. It's strapped onto the back of the ride. I've got padlock and everything. The trunk is locked by a solitary padlock. Alright, well. How am I supposed to get the key to the trunk? No, don't. Don't tell me you lost the damn key. No, no. This place. You have to keep the trunk. No balls in here. Thank you. Okay. That was more work than it should have been. <coughs> I think he's sitting in there watching this. Okay, good robber always had to come prepared. Spyglass, crowbar, and some masks. Concerning his treasure, we may need it to make him talk, as if the gold is even hidden. If he is as senile as we suspect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. Don't go too hard on the old goat. We'll do what we need to. Let's 
screams of an old man can easily be muffled. So uh, you hit the nail on the head. It's just like, wait for us in the car. We should be back in an hour at most. Sounds like a plan, RT. Remember, be gentle. too hard on the old goat. Here they come. Little Hello things thing. made oh. considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Kingsport people talked all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels, which the tide washed in. Oh, wow. Okay. That was not what I was expecting. So that old man was conjuring up his people. All right, find out. And some people yeah. even spoke of Come things on. as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. Yeah, I bet. That didn't sound like any bird I've ever But heard in before, this though. idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring in the far off days of his unremembered youth. You say so. What kind of sea captain was he? The end. Alright, well that was sort, short and sweet, but definitely really good. Based on a story by H.P. Lovecraft. This is sweet. I like these games. They're short, kind of kind of quick, you know, straightforward, but very interesting. They're definitely a twist over the expected. I thought maybe this would, he would come in and you'd be he's doing some kind of magic. Thanks to you for playing. I hope you enjoyed the terrible old man. Alright, I don't know what this is, but thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe for more content from me, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.